Hello everyone, Oregon Moto John. We're just going to tighten up our headset. Um, a good way to know that your headset is loose is um, is when you put on your, your brake going down a hill. You typically it has to be the front brake. Or even at a um, coming to a stop, if you put on the brake and you feel kind of a little bit of a shift, it's this moving, pivoting kind of forward and then back when you let off the brake and you'll just feel a little chunk chunk. It, it's a little free play and it's coming from the headset it's hard for me to describe um last ride up when i was coming down steep hills really on the brakes and you know hitting my front brake i would feel it kind of shifting and i could let off the brake and i could feel it kind of settle back um it's easy to feel in like a bicycle like a mountain bike is where i first noticed when i had loose headset you'd put on the brakes and because the bike's so light you can feel it shifting pivoting up and down in here and sometimes you can even see it this i couldn't see it but i could feel it um, I think it's a real slight adjustment. It's just a matter of loosening this bolt, loosening your, your pinch bolts on this side and, of course, the other side. And then with this loose and the triple clamp bolts loose, you you, you tighten this up a little bit. And I'm just going to try like maybe a, an eighth of a turn. I, I lucked out. I found a 27 millimeter end wrench, and um, and I think it'll it'll fit on there pretty good. So... Um, it just fits right on there. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, if you want to use a torque wrench, you probably have to use a socket. Um, if you're going to use a socket on there, then you need to remove your handlebars, which isn't a big deal. You just set a towel up here, put that up in here by removing some um, torque spits out of there. I think they're 8 or 10 millimeters. Um, not a big deal, but I think in this case, since I found this end wrench, I'm just going to do a little trial and error with it as far as I'm just going to loosen these, loosen my pinch bolts. I'm just going to tighten this maybe an eighth of a turn, not much, and then snug everything back up, and then I'll, next ride I'll, I'll see if that fixed it. Okay, so let's take a T40 Torx bit and loosen up uh, these pinch bolts on, on the left and right side. Um, these do have a torque spec, so when we could see I could even loosen that up choked up on the on this so that that didn't take a, a lot of, of force and so this is torquing to aluminum aluminum um, um you know triple clamp so you want to loosen these bolts off your triple clamp and go go very easy here i am doing the uh the right side and you know as far as loosening these up you're going to go to one side and then you're going to go to the other the other one because there's a couple on each one. And then you'll go back to this one and back to this one. When you tighten them, you do the same thing. And I, I will give everybody the, give you all the torque spec for, for all this stuff. Um, the other thing is those have a torque spec. And this pinch bolt has a torque spec. And they say to put Loctite, excuse me, they say to put Loctite on, on this one. So I will put blue Loctite on that. Um, this does not take Loctite, nor do the... Um, pinch bolts on the triple clamp these 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 do not take lock tight and we will we will put I will get my torque wrench for these and I will get my torque wrench out for this one which is rare but I'll, I'll go ahead and do it since you know this is kind of important stuff here you don't want to over torque these over torquing them is worse than uh, is not good for these okay I did use a 10 millimeter short well socket on this pinch bolt for um the triple clamp by the um, kind of that head salt, headset clamp bolt there on the triple clamp. Um, we do need to remove this because I'm going to put blue Loctite on it. Um, so let's go ahead and loosen that off um, now. Just remove that, and it will. They put until they put Loctite on it from the factory. So it's we're going to have to turn that one all the way out. So if you want to get a socket on here, it isn't going to fit with the handlebars. On there, I um, it just uh, here's the right size socket and and it does not fit. So you can see it it hits the uh, this is hitting the metal here. It won't go on. Um, this is even a short well socket, so that's that. Um, I'm just gonna snug this bolt up just like an eighth of a turn and then retorque the triple clamp bolts and and this one. Um, but if you want to use the torque spec, um, I actually got a factory service manual. It looks like it's 18 Newton meters for, for this, for, for this one. Um, 
For the pinch bolt next to that one, looks like you put Loctite on it. It's 20 Newton meters or 14.8 foot pounds. So for this one we're gonna put in here, you put Loctite on this and it's 20 Newton meters. And we will be torquing that uh, or 14.8 foot pounds. And then for your triple clamps, um, you know, for these guys in here, it looks like the spec is going to be triple clamp top, uh, which is different than the bottom, but the, the ones we're going to be doing, and you shouldn't have touched the other ones, uh, 15 Newton meters or 11.1 .1 foot pounds. And the, like I said, uh, the, the screw goes to 20 Newton meters. And the central um, larger larger one goes to 18 this goes to 18 Newton meters um, and again I'm just gonna snug that up with my wrench to tighten that because that's what's sliding sliding this down a little bit um, they say to hit this with a plastic hammer just to kind of loosen this up so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then I'm gonna tighten this up and this is per the KTM manual you just kind of just kind of loosening this up so I don't know what that really does. Probably just gets it out of a bind if there is one. And uh, let's tighten this up. I did use an ATV stand just to lift the bike, so I could so I could pivot these, pivot the steering, to, so it's moving freely now. And when I tighten the center bolt, I just don't want to ever get this in a in a bind. And if you do, you'll feel the bearings like they'll feel like gravelly and rough. That's too tight. Um, so. I'm gonna go ahead and just get this on here and just give it a little, oh, there we go. Just a little bit of a snug. That's all I'm gonna give it. Um, that was like an eighth of a turn. Oh, still just as free. So you know what, I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Um, that was about an eighth of a turn. I'm gonna stop there because it didn't feel real loose, just a little loose. And um, let's reassemble things. So I tighten that. I'm just turning this back and forth. It still feels nice and free. I don't feel any resistance there or binding. So we're going to go with that. I can always repeat these steps if I ride it next time and it feels um, still, if I still feel that play when I'm braking downhill. Um, I'd rather repeat this procedure again since it's so easy than, um, you know, get this too tight and have, have these things binding. And again, I didn't have to remove the handlebars, but if you were going to follow the manual spec, perfectly to put a you know torque wrench on there and a socket then you'd want to remove the handlebars but for what I'm doing I could tell they were just a little loose I just did about an eighth of a turn on there and um, I'm going to basically ride it and retest it um, that way rather than remove the handlebars I just don't think it's necessary for 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 what I'm doing in this with the, for the slight amount of play that was there I don't feel the need to uh go through that. Now, if I had disassembled the forks out of the bike and done all that, or done some major disassembly on the bike, I would do that, but um, we're just fine tuning here. Just to be clear what I'm doing here, I snug this up an eighth of a turn. Um, I put some blue Loctite on this. This is just like a kind of a, a crayon type of a substance. You just rub it on the threads. I like it better than the liquid because it doesn't go all over and I just wipe it around. And then, um, you want to, you know, put this back in there, and we will be torquing this to spec. We want to, we want to have that torque to spec. So um, we will torque that to per manual spec. Um, it says put Loctite on it and 20 newton meters or 14.8 foot pounds. Um, so we're going to go ahead and thread this in and torque that to 20 newton meters. So here I am just running this in by hand first to get rid of some of those exposed threads. And then when we get to where we start to bottom that out, we'll get our torque wrench out and finish it off. We're now going to torque this to, um, with the torque wrench to um, 20 Newton meters or 14.8 foot pounds. I took mine to 15 and then backed it off a click. Um, I don't usually use torque wrenches, so the fact I'm doing that with this says something, but you could go to where this is just lightly snugged but um, and I think it would be fine but uh, it's just good to tr use a torque wrench to get this perfect for anything with it to do with a triple clamp.
for safety and also this metal doesn't like to be over torqued because it's closing these tolerances and if you like bend this and, and do something to that it's you basically can't fix it you'd have to replace your triple clamp so uh, torque wrench is a good idea with these things and, and like I said I rarely use torque wrenches so that should tell you something my torque wrench just clicked and we were stopping at 14.8 foot pounds or 20 newton meters now for the triple clamps um, and we'll be able to um, move back and forth on these um, we're gonna do um, one and then the other and then the other and the other and I'll do that by hand first with just uh, without a torque wrench and then I will get out the torque wrench and we'll take that to spec and this is the same kind of deal you know the, the triple clamp has this little split here and you, you don't want to get that over torque because once you bend this it's it's just never going to be quite the same and this is clamping around your shock tube your fork tube so um, you don't want this too tight you want it just right so worth getting out a torque wrench on that i mean you could go back and forth by hand and i think get it really really close just by feel but just for the sake of this video and everything i, I want to do it the right way for, for everybody um, for in case nobody's ever done this before triple clamps are kind of funny you you go to one and you snug it okay that feels kind of snug by hand then you go to the other and you snug it and then you go back to this one and you'll snug it a little then you go back to this one and once you tighten one it takes the pressure off the other one so you have to go back and forth back and forth and i'm just doing like a quarter turn back and forth and eventually you get it to where that gap narrows to where you go to one and the other and it's not really tightening anymore and now it's time to get out my torque wrench. And then with my torque wrench, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go back and forth and back and forth until the gap is narrowed and they're both or, or tight each time. Then you know you have it. But let's use the torque wrench now. Okay, now we're going to be tightening our um, top triple clamp screws to, as you can see here, um, 11... 0.1 um, foot pounds. I put my torque wrench to 11. Um, I, just whatever is easiest to find on your torque wrench. I went to 15 and my, my marking on mine is like 16.9 Newton meters or something strange. So rather than have to get complicated with trying to get the right setting, uh, it was easy to find 10 foot pounds and then go up one and, and get 11. So uh, I'm going to go with the 11.1 foot pounds um, for, the, for these top triple clamp um, guys here so we're going to um, put a torque wrench on here and you're gonna go we're gonna go back and forth you're gonna go to one side and then you want to go to the other side and then you're gonna go back to that side and we're gonna go back to um, this other side so we're gonna go ahead and do that now till we get a click on both of those and until they both click right when I start to move the the torque wrench Okay, so we're gonna go back and forth. And you can see I torqued that one, it hasn't clicked yet. I'm gonna go to this one. I'm gonna go to this one. I'm gonna go to this one. And I'm gonna go to this one. It hasn't clicked yet, it will soon though. To this one. So that, there it is, there's that one. There's that one. Okay, we're gonna go back and forth one more time and look. Not quite yet. Click. Click, okay, now we're gonna keep going. Click, click, okay, now I'm getting a click almost where I want to click. Click, click, now neither one's moving. When I'm turning this, neither one's moving and I'm getting the click right away. Okay, we're there, we got a click and a click right away. We're done. Let's do the same to the other side. Okay, I just uh, did use the torque wrench in the same manner as shown on the other side, moving back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, I stuck them up by hand first, just to see, um, with, with just a regular ratchet, to see how close I could get. And, and the torque wrench uh, did take it a little tighter than I probably would have. Um, so it's, it's good to use a torque wrench on those. I was close, but the torque wrench probably got another uh, eighth of a turn out of them than, than I was gonna go, so um, doesn't hurt. And anyway, um, I think that's it. Can double check everything. I don't feel any any binding. 
um, in there. If I did, uh, we'd have to. We could just be a matter of loosening everything up. Um, so next time I ride, when I'm going downhill, kind of get on that front brake. If they're really loose, you can you can put on the front brake even just in your shop. Um, rock the bike forward onto the forks as you as you kind of hit the front brake, and you, you'll you'll feel it. But this wasn't loose. I only felt it going downhill. Um, but that's how you do the headset. Um, tighten your headset on your KTM 890 Adventure R. Um, so I hope that helps if anybody experiences that. You can remove the handlebars. That's the way the manual recommends it. But um, in, in this particular instance, I could tell it was just a little loose. So I just um, saved myself the hassle by loosening, removing this. Um, removing your triple clamp bolts, or not removing, loosening your triple clamp bolts on both sides, the top ones, not the bottom, and then you hit this with a plastic mallet to just get these to kind of loosen up here, here, and here, and then um, I just tighten this just like an eighth of a turn, maybe maybe slightly more than an eighth of a turn, and then lock tight on this, and then torque all these down to spec. Um, I didn't, I just, this dr pushes this down and, and or draws up the stem up so that um, these this this headset gets squeezed a little more. Those bearings get squeezed so it takes up any any slop that's in this headset bearing. It, it's it really is the same as a mountain bike. Just everything's bigger and beefier and um, he more heavy duty. So uh, if you ever work on a mountain bike, it's the same kind of deal. You loosen up your um, triple clamp bolts or your. It's not really a triple clamp. It's just kind of a headset type thing, and then you. You snug down a top Allen screw and it, it pushes down on everything and tightens it up. So um, anyway, hope this helps. Keep riding. Be safe. Have fun and uh, have an awesome day. Just an addendum here. If you didn't happen to have a uh, 27 millimeter open end wrench or box end wrench, you, you could use a Harbor Freight uh, Crescent wrench. Um, I got this from Harbor Freight years ago. Um, it's just kind of a shorter... Um, crescent wrench and it goes super wide I mean it goes crazy wide way, way wider than this would ever need but that would pretty easily fit in there and I, I could have tightened up with with that no problem so um, in a pinch you could use a you know just a, a Harbor Freight crescent wrench um, so it's not really the video probably makes it look bigger than it is but it's got a nice jaw on it so anyway just something to in case that 27 millimeter was a was a sticking point for you yeah, stay tuned, uh, like and subscribe for more 890 kind of exploration, as well as uh, just uh, minor do-it-yourself type tips. Uh, next, I'll be doing like a air filter check slash change on this. Um, you know, I was eating quite a bit of dust last ride, so we'll stay tuned. I'll, I'll, my next video will be on uh, changing out the air filter on this. And I'm not sure if I'm going to go with the foam one or the paper. I have both may make sense to go with the foam one since I'll be um, probably eating more dust on and off. Um, sometimes I lead and sometimes I follow. I like to do both. So uh, sometimes when I follow, though, you eat some dust. That's just the way it is. But it's all fun. All right. Stay tuned and have an awesome day. Hello, everyone. Oregon Moto John. We're just going to tighten up our headset. Um, a good way to know that your headset is loose is, uh, is when you put on your your brake going down a hill you typically has to be the front brake or even at a um, coming to a stop if you put on the brake and you feel kind of a little bit of a shift it's this moving pivoting kind of forward and then back when you let off the brake and you'll just feel a little chunk chunk it's, it's a little free play and it's coming from the headset it's hard for me to describe um, last ride up when I was coming down steep hills really on the brakes and, you know, hitting my front brake, I would feel it kind of shifting. And then I could let off the brake and I could feel it kind of settle back. Um, it's easy to feel on like a bicycle, like a mountain bike is where I first noticed when I had loose headset. You'd put on the brakes and because the bike's so light, you can feel it shifting, pivoting up and down in here. And sometimes you can even see it. This, I couldn't see it, but I could feel it. Um, I think it's a real slight adjustment. It's just a matter of loosening this bolt, loosening your, your pinch bolts. On this side and of course the other side and then with this loose and the triple clamp bolts loose you you, you tighten this up a little bit and I'm just gonna try like maybe a an eighth of a turn I I lucked out I found a 27 millimeter 
end wrench and um, and I think it'll it'll fit on there pretty good so um, it just fits right on there so that's what I'm going to use um, if you want to use a torque wrench you have to use a socket um, if you're going to use a socket on there then you need to remove your handlebars which isn't a big deal you just set a towel up here put that up in here by removing some um, torque spits out of there I think they're eight or ten millimeters um, not a big deal, but I think in this case, since I found this end wrench, I'm just going to do a little trial and error with it as far as I'm just going to loosen these, loosen my pinch bolts. I'm just going to tighten this maybe an eighth of a turn, not much, and then snug everything back up, and then I'll, next ride I'll, I'll see if that fixed it.